picture where my pastor, where the church people can see this beautiful image. He said, but you ain't worried about the image that you betrayed oh, to me. Jesus. He said, because this is a day that I'm calling my bride yeah. to come back. Yes, Lord. He said, stop with your weary ways and come to me. He said, enough with this offense. People being offended about everything. People tell you, don't do this, you get offended. People try to tell you the truth, you get offended. You don't tell me what to do. I'm a grown woman, I'm a grown man. You don't tell me what to do. He said, but you forgot that that day when you said, I want to give my life to the Lord because I want you to be my personal Lord and Savior. I want you to save me. I want you to be my king. I want you to be my Lord. He said, that's the day that you came into covenant with me. That's the day that you came in marriage with me. He said, but then yet you want to try to worship me with a worldly mindset. You want to try to commit adultery with me and then talk about I'm not being faithful. He said, I am the one that's faithful to my commitment. I am the one that married you when you had all these children. I am the one that married you when you slept with all these men. And he said, I'm the one that put a ring on your finger. All right, all right. And I'm the one that you neglect the most. He said, enough of this. Jesus. He said, we got to get the spirit of prostitution out of our lives. Yes. He said, this is the day for us to stop being mad at the preachers and teachers of the gospel. He said, because see, you got to remember a day back in time as I read my Bible. He said that he had silenced the voice of the prophets. He silenced the voice that they didn't hear what the Lord was saying. People went about doing what they wanted to do. He said, but now you got a day in time where the prophet is speaking, but the people don't want to listen. You got the prophet speaking, and the people, as long as you're telling them about their housing and their cars and their money, you got their full attention. But when God said he's talking about dealing with your heart, he said, enough is that you looking pretty on the outside, but your inside is jacked up. He said, I'm tired of you dealing, you looking beautiful on the outside, but your heart. You got so much confusion on the inside of you, but then yet and still you just want to paint an image to the people. Yes. All right. And time truth is going forth, we get offended. Say get rid of the offense. Get rid of the offense. This is the day and time that we got to get rid of the spirit of offense. Because see, the spirit of offense is creeping into the church. Time you begin to correct somebody and tell somebody, the Lord don't want you to do that. The Lord say, get out of your mess. The Lord say, stop doing this, stop doing that. We want to get mad because somebody is telling us the truth. I don't know about you, but that person is trying to keep you out of hell. That person is willing, is willing to be persecuted just when you may be mad at them. But you don't realize what they saving you from hell. But see, God said, but this is the day for you to harden out your heart and listen to what the Spirit has to say to the church. Yes. All right, now. Yeah. This is not the day for you to be mad at me because I'm telling you the truth. You got so many people that don't lie to you all your life, but you'll sit up there and want to be with them all day long. Long they telling you lies and it ain't profiting you nothing. You all up in that person's face. He said, but the moment truth hits you, you want to back up from truth and saying you want God. Saying you love God. God said, you don't love me. He said, because if you love me, you're going to love all of me. You're going to love my word. He said, people always say God is a God of love. He said, so I'm a God of judgment. He said, I'm a God that will judge you for your weary ways. He said, because I'm tired and tired of going over. God, I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry. He said, well, we really made up our mind that we know we ain't sorry. We ain't even trying to repent. We just want to get religious and say, God, forgive me for what I did. Well, we already know when we leave the church doors, we're going to go back and do that same thing over again. He said, enough with this spirit of prostitution. Yes. All right, now. Amen. Enough with it. He said, because he's causing us to take inventory over our life. Okay, you may say, Pastor Lisa, where are you getting it from? I'm glad you said so. Turn your Bible to Hosea, the third chapter. Amen. When you look at Hosea, the third chapter, look at verse 1. It said, then the Lord said to me, go and love your wife again. And even now she commits adultery with another lover. Say so this will illustrate that the Lord still loves Israel. Who's Israel? We are the spiritual Israel. He still loves you even though you got another lover. He still loves you even when you drinking yourself like a uh, you drinking yourself like a